Hello and welcome to the Kathleen Spracklin podcast. I am a woman on a mission to gather a cadre of writers, thinkers, and teachers who are transforming the world one character at a time. And it all starts with one thing, a deep understanding of human motivation, why people do what they do, and the forces that drive them. To gain that understanding, I am mining the intersection of psychology, theology, and philosophy to make you a better writer. Tonight's episode is Loyalty, Driver of a Subplot. How can you use loyalty in your stories going forward? We have just been spending a number of days. We're on day six of Loyalty as a Subplot, and we've examined it from a number of different perspectives. And now, as we close our time with loyalty, the next question is, how can we use it going forward? We have had an opportunity to study what it means. We have had an opportunity to notice it in the world around us, in stories that we've read, in past people that we've known, uh, episodes of our lives. Then we applied it to a story. How could we use it as an element where it would actually drive a subplot or a major transition point in the plot of a story? And we played with that from three different perspectives, from the perspective of struggling to maintain loyalty, the struggle of loyalty itself. We looked at it from the standpoint of loss, because if there's a struggle, then Isn't there a danger of loss? What would be lost if the loss took place? And yesterday we explored the victory side. What would it feel like for our character to achieve victory? What then might open up for our character having passed the test of loyalty? So now as a closing moment in our study of this character trait, driving a subplot, I invite you to think about all of the different things that you explored during these past six days. How do you think this will affect your writing going forward? Do you feel that you found anything useful? I can share one thing that that I noticed out of these days, and that is that for me personally, I really long for more interaction. I would like to have conversations. I'd like to know how people are thinking and feeling and reacting to the material. And to me, it's kind of a bit lonely to just put it out there to however many people happen to see it. So one of the things that I am in the midst of being one of three people helping to create is a gathering space for readers and writers and teachers and thinkers, anyone who wants to play with all manner of aspects of reading and writing, where we can have a place that we can gather that's off the beaten track, where there's no ads, no trolls, no just where you can just be in your, as Victoria Crowder puts it, her digital living room. I do like that thought. We can be as at home on the site as you would be in your own home. And that is coming along pretty well. We're calling it Lilypub, which is short for a Lilliputian Publishing Co-op, because we also have long-range dreams of actually publishing books. So we're going to go ahead and put our dreams right out there in our name. And we're coming pretty close to being able to open our doors and invite our first guests. That's one of the things that I'm excited about developing because then when we have a topic like loyalty as a driver of a subplot, we can actually get in there and talk about our plots and our subplots and how it's fitting in and what our characters are doing and ask questions and get more information and a lot more opportunity to exchange. In my dream world, which I hope to be setting up, uh, my goal is by that by the first Monday in May, I could start the new program, where parts of the program would be visible here on YouTube, especially the Monday and Tuesday days would be 
that are mostly me presenting. They would be visible on YouTube. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which is with us practicing the struggle, the loss, the victory of the character traits, we could do it dis in discussion over in the private community. And then our final day, which is a wrap-up, we could all get together on a Zoom call or some such thing and talk about what we've been doing and share, maybe share snippets of our writing if we want to share that. Uh, so that's all in the stages of being worked out. And I will keep you all posted when that opens for membership pretty darn soon, I'm very excited to say. So uh, the next thing I want to do is give a little bit of a bridge to the next uh, round of these things which we're going to, the next thing, you notice that when we took Magnificence, we said we're going to cover a whole story arc, the whole plot. And then we took a more fine-grained character trait, loyalty, and we said we're going to develop a subplot. Well, our next character trait, no spoilers, we're going to use to develop just a scene. And our next character trait will give nuance and depth to our character. So I, I don't have our normal pauses because I'm just laying this out as a practice. In, in practice, after our sharing day, there'll be a, a pause day. The Sunday will be a day of rest. And if you want to share what you're learning with others, that's great too. And Monday start, we'll start up with the next character traits. And tomorrow I'll explain a little bit about how week to week the, the month will go. But that's all for tonight. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.